Ciao Libra, welcome to the channel guys and uh, this is Rad, of course and in this whole video we're going to check into your weekly reading uh, for 18th of July up until the 24th of July 2022nd and uh, if you want to have a personal reading with me you can always go to my website uh, which link you are going to find pretty much uh, in the description down below so with that said uh, let's make the cut and uh, see what we have for you so the first card for you uh, Libra that is going to be uh, the nine of pentacles followed up with the second card for your spread which pretty much stands as the seven of uh, swords followed by the third card of your spread which is uh, the knight of uh, wands and the final card of your spread uh, that is going to be uh, temperance so these four cards but I do want to draw one additional uh, for the Knights of Wands, and this is going to be the High Priestess. Okay, so that is how the elemental dignity for this individual uh, pretty much stands. Active enemies. Well, the week Libra for you is going to be somewhat a revealing as it's going to uh, center around a specific individual uh, which uh, by the look of the cards that we do have here as we do have the seven of swords being into the second position of the spread and having the nine of pentacles into the very first position of the spread as well it kind of speaks that things were somewhat undecisive that is to say the least in between you and this specific individual but it does look like that throughout the week itself that person is going to make a move we can clearly see that into the elemental dignity of the knights of wands and the high priestess that is a, a a typical situation where someone it's not it doesn't suit them anymore to be in the in the position they are or they are sitting in and the very least what they are doing is a looking for an answers because the answers they do have or the answers as they stand currently just does not suffice anymore so what kind of a people they are or, or in regards to you and into your life well they are enterprising people what i mean is that they do have what to offer in regards making your life the very least said a bit more interesting and uh, also dynamic as well and because they are falling into your third position of the spread at least throughout the week whatever they do promise or whatever they do give a, a, an incentive for uh, they are pretty much willing to make a very serious attempt uh, suffice to say willing to reach the very end of the endeavor itself and the environment under which all this is going to happen which stands as the nine of pentacles that we do have here into the spread it kind of speaks that uh the formation of either the offering they have for you or the approach they have for you or whatever act or move they do is going to be very promising now the nine of pentacles as in an environment is when the things open up in a, such a way that one or in this particular case you have the opportunity to establish i can't really say what one have ever wanted but nonetheless nine of pentacles it is when for example you find found out a new job and it turns out that that is going to be the job that has every property you you need to excel into your career or you find someone to go out with and it turns out that that person has every property you need uh, or every quirk so to speak you need to establish a awesome friendship or a good relationship etc etc it's just that that's that's the golden fish which is in the water and all you gotta do it is just you know take it so you may ask then well what's the problem well there isn't much of a problem 
except that seven of swords being into the second position and that is the the reason why things were into limbo with that person whether a friend co-worker or a potential lover of yours and the seven of swords into the second position especially in that specific situation is like the thug of war it is when everybody wants to be ideal for them but they don't want to put themselves into the other person's shoes and walk a, a, a mile with those shoes and what that ultimately leads to it's it's kind of like a arguments conflicts uh opposition which is merely pointless because neither you or them are, are going to be able to see things from from the other point of view and that's unnecessary I, I mean it's unnecessary to see things from the other point of view you may ask why well because we do have temperance at the end and temperance at the end it kind of points that it doesn't matter because a cumulative path can be found meaning that path which is going to suit you is going to suit them as well everybody is going to be happy at the end a path where neither of the extreme of the both worlds needs to manifest it needs to happen and yet it's a path that dodges a bullet it's the best way how i can describe it here temperance it is when you know you you find a or one finds the correct measures which are ex establishing the most milder a, a manifestation of uh, of one's goal and under milder i mean a call i don't mean lack of stability under mild i mean a lack of ups and downs it is just a one steady progress one steady line a a one steady approach towards that goal so uh, with the temperance at the end what can be established at least for the duration of this particular week in between you and that person it's a lot of solid solidarity and compassion and while not every aspect of of that relationship in between you and them can be cleared out you know so you still by the end of the week there are going to be a lot of things which you are not going to be on the same page with um there will be kind of like a respect okay so you will respect the opinion of the other person as they will respect your opinion as well and that will be the reason why a common ground pretty much is going to be sort of and it's imminently is going to be uh, is going to be fine found out so you can definitely for throughout the week to uh, you can definitely expect that a um a relationship whether it is a friendship or a business relationship or an intimate relationship in your life which stood dormant up until this point it was kind of like just before the initiation okay or it was a in a good place and kind of like it went dormant for whatever reason it's going to start excelling again and in fact the the acceleration under the energy of the nine of pentacles it is a huge leap okay like neo armstrong setting foot on the moon so what, what he said is one small step for man and one huge leap for humanity and and that's literally what happens to you as well you are about to make a one huge leap whatever uh, field that person really shows up uh, for you and uh, what i need to warn you finally about this individual in a sense of how to deal with them okay it is that they are they they, they are like if you are up to astrology i will tell you aries they are like aries they need constantly to have something to look forward to something that it is uh like a not like a challenge but like a conquest like a um like something they will be um proud of accomplishing so i would say something interesting so there, there is always my, my point here is that there is always needs to be a goal when it comes to uh when it comes to them something for them to work 
toward. And so with that said, Libra, that was your weekly tarot reading for July 18th up until July 24th, 2022. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.